In this lesson, we will work on taking derivative of a polynomial. Here's the equation we will use when we take derivative of t to the nth degree. I'm not going to derive this equation. Hopefully, your math teacher does it in your math class. When we take derivative of t to the nth degree with respect to t, all we have to do is to bring down the exponent and put it down here as a coefficient, and then we lose one degree of power. For example, if we have to take derivative t to the fifth degree, we would bring down the exponent 5, put it down here as a coefficient, and then we lose one degree of power. So 5 minus 1, we get t to the fourth. It makes sense for us to lose one degree of power when we take derivative. Let's say this t is time in seconds. This derivative is basically delta t to the fifth divided by delta t. So up here, we have seconds to the fifth for unit, and down here, we have seconds. Seconds to the fifth divided by seconds, that's why we get seconds to the fourth. This equation also works when the exponent is a fraction. See if you can figure out this. We bring the exponent down as a coefficient, and we lose one degree of power. So one-third minus one, we get negative two-thirds. The equation works for negative exponent as well. So what do you think this equals to? Again, we bring down the exponent as a coefficient, and uh, we lose one degree of power. So negative two-thirds minus one, that gives us uh, negative five-thirds. And if we have multiple terms, for this one, if you don't like to have this big blob on the top, you may also write it this way. We keep d dt together like this because this whole thing is the symbol for derivative. d dt together like this means the operation of taking the derivative of this. When we take derivative of a polynomial with multiple terms, all we have to do is to look at one term at a time. So let's look at the 3t squared first. For the 3, that's a constant coefficient. We just keep it on the side. Because if we triple the t squared, when we take derivative, we triple the derivative of the t squared. So it's three times, and then we take derivative of t squared, we first bring the exponent down, two, and then we lose one degree of power, two minus one, that gives us one. And then the next term, minus, and then seven, we keep the seven, take derivative of t to the fourth, we bring down the exponent, 4, and then we lose one degree of power, so we get t to the third. And so this is 6t minus 28t to the third. Now let's try these. Because t to the zeroth degree is 1, so 3 is the same as uh, 3 times t to the zeros. And the 3, this coefficient, stay right there. And then we bring the exponent down, 0, and then we lose 1 degree of power. But uh, whatever we put over here, if we multiply anything by 0, we're going to get 0. So the answer is 0. And if I plot a graph for 3 as a function of t, I get a horizontal line that goes through 3. What is the slope of this graph? It's 0, which equals to the derivative of 3. If we take the derivative of a constant, we get 0, because the slope of a graph that represents a constant is 0. For this one, 2t is 2 times t to the first degree. 2, the coefficient, stays right here, and then we bring the 
exponent down, and then we lose one degree of power. So one minus one, we get t to the zeros, and t to the zeros is one. So this equals to two. If I plot two t as a function of t, I get a straight line because this is a first degree equation. It's a linear graph, and what's the slope of the graph? The slope is two, which is the same as the derivative of two t. How about these two? Three is the same as t to the zeros times three because t to the zeros is one. And then we have two terms. We can take care of one term at a time. The coefficient one fourth stays right there. We bring down the exponent, and uh, we lose one degree of power, so we get t to the first. And then three stays right there. We bring the exponent down times zero, and that means uh, this term is going to be zero because if we take derivative of a constant, we're going to get zero. So this gives us uh, one half t. If I plot the graph of this uh, second degree equation, I get a parabola like this. The slope over here is zero, and the slope over here is uh, negative, and then the slope gets less and less negative. So if I plot the graph for the slope of that graph, I get more negative here, and then less and less negative, and then the slope turns positive over here, and it gets more and more positive. And the slope over here gets more and more positive, and the graph of the slope of this graph happens to be like this, which is an equation that equals to half t. If I take the derivative of t to the third, I bring the exponent down, and then I lose one degree of power, so I get three t squared. If I plot the graph for t cubed versus t, this is the graph I get. When t gets more negative, t cubed gets a lot more negative. When t gets more positive, the t cubed gets a lot more positive. So that's the graph. And if I plot the slope for this graph here. I get a parabola. Over here, the slope is positive, and over here, the slope is uh, very positive. And then the slope gets less and less positive, and the slope over here is zero. So, more positive slope, and then less and less positive slope. On that side, I have positive slope as well. As t increases, the slope gets higher and higher. So the graph is like that. The slope is a parabola, three t squared versus t. So the derivative of an equation is the slope for its graph. When we take the derivative, we get this equation that is for the slope of the graph.